cell. This is the unit cell. And if in the crystal, this is the one plane and this is other plane. These are parallel plane. The distance between these two is, for example, D is 1, 0, 0. It is A axis, for example. Yes. This is B axis and this is C axis, right? Yes. So if this plane is put in the formula for intensity that how much X-ray quantity it is diffracting, it will every plane parallel plane with diaphragm equal intensity there. So it should not change that much. Secondly, the interplanar spacings are fixed. Because if this is 100 zero zero plane, this is 200 zero zero plane, here will be 300 zero zero plane, here will be 400 zero zero plane. If the selection rules or the reflections are allowed, all are allowed. If all are not allowed, only even are allowed, then you will have 0, 0, 0, uh, sorry, 1, uh, 2, 0, 0, 4, 0, 0, 6, 0, 0, 8, 0, 0. The others will be missing as you see here. That what is here, which is there where there is no intensity. Yes. Because the diffraction condition, lambda L, is equal to lambda L lambda L 2D sin 2D sin theta is it lambda L n lambda n. N, n lambda right in XRD you have n lambda is equal to 2D mm -hmm. sin theta so wherever that condition of theta is satisfied it will give you Bragg reflection at particular angles but where that condition is not satisfied this means destructive interference will occur and there will be no peak there. Right? So, you look for relevant JCPDS or ICDD card and compare it. And if they are matching, then you say you don't need to put the experimental data. You just say the interplanar spacings and relevant intensities corresponding to the observed XRD peaks made were compared observed XRD peaks were compared with several relevant ICDD or JCPDS cards in all the interplanar spacings and relevant intensities matched ICDD card or JCPDS card number this for AL4 SI3 O12 this is the case ideal case when all the peaks are matching if some peaks are not matching, for example, if there is at 15 degree, there is a peak which is 4.5, for example, and its intensity is 30. If there is another peak at 25 and it is 3.1 and its intensity is, for example, 20, right? Similarly, there is an other at 45 and it is 1.8 and its intensity is 10, let us say. Then you will have to look for the relevant phases that if you see any different composition there, then you will have to look for that. If you don't have a different composition there, then for example, 3Al2O3, 2Al2O3, 1 SiO2 is there. So what does this mean? 3, this will give you Al4, right? SiO6 plus 2, 8, right? SiO2, right? It will give you 8. So this is minus 16. This is plus 4 and this is 3 times 12, 12. Yes. right? So it is plus 12, this is plus and this is minus, so it is a neutral and other phase here, right? So you will then look for this, that are the remaining peaks which didn't match the first phase, 
are they matching there but again if the 100 peak of this phase at 15 degree corresponding to four uh, and a corresponding interplanar spacing is this and the intensity is 30 similarly the 25 one is 3.1 and the intensity is 20 and the 45 one 1 1.8 and the intensity is 10 is this 100 peak in the ICDD card or not if this is 100 then and this is for example 80 in the ICDD card and this is 40 then this response is reasonable because the major 100 is there there will be no 100 for the second phase but are the in the ICDD card you had for 4.5 angstrom the intensity is 100 this is the ICDD card data right and it is for for example 5 5 5 3 5 let us say and it is for this phase yes, AL4 SIO8 right and it's 25 you have 3.1 angstrom interplanar spacing and its intensity is say 80 similarly 845 uh, 1.8 angstrom and the intensity is say 40 or 30 right if this is the ICDD card and you got this data here then you can say that the remaining peaks the remaining unidentified are the remaining peaks not matching the ICDD card number 4454 right yes. were compared with other relevant ICDD cards and most of the peaks most of these peaks matched ICDD card number 5545 5 for AL4SIO8. Yes. So these peaks might be coming from L4 SIO8 phase and hence your XRD was characterized. Now another important thing in the ICDD cards if you have 10 degree angle 5.4 angstrom d spacing and 100 intense 80 intensity there must be hkl indices there for example this is 200 the 20 peak which was 3.5 and its intensity was 100 its values for example 222 hkl indices for 30 1.2.1 its intensity was 50 for example and it is 313 yes. similarly the 20 intensity uh, uh, 1.3 and its intensity was 40 or 10 say and it is 413 or something like that right then 
you will not have to put these values or these values or these values you will put these value upon the peak so if you are identifying these peaks then you will say that it is 200 it is 212 this is 312 right and for example this is 422 so you will put each scale in this is and you will write in the text that when the peaks match there so when you got this you go to the literature yes. that other people have also studied granite yes. what did they found there when you write this sentence that these peaks match this thing and some other person has also worked on this material and they have found the same thing then you will simply write consistent with the previous studies and in parenthesis you will write for example 4 this is the reference number and at the end you give the relevant reference number if the previous study doesn't show that then you will say that our results our results didn't match those reported by ali et al right for example 4 this is the reference number probably due to different location of the sample right a location of the sample however boss and jean five reference have reported the presence of this phase in the sample collected from the same area from the same area right right so they found this reported boss and genes reported the same data are the same findings for the sample present there furthermore the presence of the next phase l4 si sio8 has also been reported in the samples in the granite samples investigated by john and kate say then you will give the reference number right so this is the proper way how to characterize xrd spectra select the take the plot find the d values relevant intensities then match them with icdd cards and when they match and they are consistent with previous studies then you label here the hkl indices not the d values or intensities or anything else but the interplanar spacing is the standard way because if this is z axis this is x axis and this is y axis right then the plane parallel to z axis it never intersects 
right the z axis it is parallel to z axis so it will have z zero and x and y will be there if a plane is parallel to x axis the x will be zero and the y and z will have values because it is an intersection gives you the values of uh, those spacings right and this plane will be if this is z axis and this is y axis right so this is x y plane and x and uh, x is zero this is z and x right this is z x plane and y is zero here because it's parallel to the that a particular axis so always be careful when you are talking about these things right okay. so study it and prepare it yes. and present it in the best possible way okay. and you can find the icdd card on the internet or the xrd machine which you use tell them they put here d values and then you when you find the corresponding hkl indices for the d values then you will put hkl indices here from the icdd card thank you yes. thank you